Hi, I'm Kay from Gem Financial Modeling Academy and um, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and also hit the notification button or the bell. Alright, so let's dive straight in into today's uh, topic. And so here, we are going to be considering the third type of timing flags that you can have in your financial model. And that, and that is period after a specific event. So we want to be able to highlight a period after this point. And so you can see the arrow highlighting the period after a specific event. And so coming down here, we want to be able to highlight the period after the project end date. So the project end date is 31st December 2023. So we want to be able to highlight any period after this date. All right. And so here, you are going to create a simple flag using the if statement equals if tab. And uh, it's going to be using the end, the, the financial year end date. And so that will be this is greater than the project end date. So any period after this project end date will be highlighted on our timeline. All right. So I log that with F4, then comma, value if true is one, value if false is zero. And so that is our if statement to create our timing flag. And so if we replicate this forward, control shift forward arrow, control R, you see that um, our project end 31st December 2023 and um, it is, our timing flag is here. Our project end 31st December 2023, so the period after that date onward is highlighted as um, the period of concern. And so this is working perfectly, but in, in any period where you have, um, take for instance, it is not ending in December, it's not ending in March, June, September, or December, and if it is ending in other, other months. So let's look at that um, example. So let me try and tweak this a bit and change this to probably June, and let's see. Okay, so. Uh, financial year ended, none of it is ending in April. So let's see how this goes with our, with our simple flag. So let's see, so you can see first of April and it is including that period in it. It shouldn't have included this period, rather it should have started from the next uh, date. So this is not working. It's not working because it's including that period in it. We want to highlight the period after a particular point in time. All right. So you need to write a more robust um, uh, if statement that will tackle that issue, and that will be you writing two using two logicals with your AND function. And so I'm going to do that here to say if and uh, using and uh, then the first logical will be that we are using our financial year start date when it is greater than our project end date that will be uh, the period we want to consider so effort to lock this uh, project end date then comma our financial year end date also should be greater than our project end it. So with this, it highlights both. We are looking at a period where it is higher than these two period on our timeline. And so we close the AND function and the value if true, comma, value if true will be one, value if false will be zero. So close the bracket and let's extend this forward, control shift forward arrow, Control R, and so you can see that um, this one is not is not including first of April, 2024 in it. So first of April, 2024 falls here. So it's taking a day. It's from the day after or from the uh, a timeline period after that date is being highlighted. So it all depends on what you're what you're trying to achieve. So this uh, 
is how you construct your timing period or your timing flags after a particular uh, uh, event so that's it if you have not uh, subscribed to our channel please do but it also you should also hit the notification bell in order to be reminded of our latest uh, video so see you bye